Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing a haul video. Most of this I believe is from the 127 sale. We're going to still try to find footage, but y'all, <laughs> we're coming to realize a lot of times when I hit the record button, I did something and I just turned the camera off after one second. There was a lot of that. Technical incompetence. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe by next year I'll have this all figured out we'll see but I'm going to show you a bunch of stuff a lot of this came from one yard cell I'll try to we'll try to remember in the footage which I did record some of this the storm hit you've probably if you've listened to any of the other youtubers that were there that weekend the storms just kept hitting us over and over and over again and it was, oh, it was a mess. The wind, the rain. So, but we picked up a bunch there and everything was a quarter. I got soaked. Robert got soaked. He was trying to help them get the tarps, but they had those massive tarps. And then these guys were trying desperately to get stuff covered, but the wind would pick it up. So finally they got the stuff covered, but... The, the, it rained and rained and rained that weekend. It should be. Okay. We went, we kind of went all the way through town until we got to 127. Okay, and then we turned, we went north. So we're going to turn right now. Alright, see y'all. Bye. Oh, did they? Way too expensive. What, walking blocks? How much is it? Three. Oh, I think so. That's big though, ain't it? Look. But I don't want to pay five dollars. Oh, blame And then Look. 
40. She's in rough shape though, look at her. Ooh, she's in really rough shape. What is this though? How much are these in the bags? Um, well, they're all different prices. Oh. All these dolls are different. Uh, let's see. So these are the Bretts. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> we'll do. What was the good price? Let's do five each on Oh, I see Christmas. I don't think so, no. Hello, how you doing, ma'am? Good. Do you know how much these are? Everything, that's the, those will be a quarter piece. Oh, everything okay. on this table and everything on that rack of uh, shirts and pants, whatever you see, and on that, uh, where, where y'all are at, right there, everything on that tarp and this table and these boxes is a quarter. Okay. But what is uh, not, it'll be priced. He'll have a price tag on it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Boys might have to cover up and stuff, man. Huh? This. What am I getting? It's heavy, but let's just walk up here and make a pile so I can just hey, keep hey. looking around. I've got to look at those clothes I had in those t-shirts. Okay. Okay. Like circus circus. Okay. All right. There's lots of stuff. Yeah, All right. I'm going to make a pile. You gonna make a pile? I make a pile. Uh, just make you a pile on top of that uh, desk if you want. Y'all interested in a desk? No. <laughs> this is real old. Real, I mean, it's real old and stuff. It's got that chair with it. He's sitting in it. Yeah, over there. Boy. Huh? 
Huh? Why? Uh huh. He said everything's a quarter unless it's marked like these. How much is this mixer? That mixer? Yeah. That mixer is like a quarter. So let me show you a few things. This is, I know for sure we got these at that sale, but Robert picked these up. So we paid a quarter for all, right? He, the way it ended up, everything was priced at a quarter. So I'm assuming right. he would have charged 25 cents each or maybe 25 cents for a few, but we ended up getting everything we got there for a quarter, which would have been a, for a quarter for less than 30 for for 30 dollars so yeah $30. What, it would have been less than 25 cents an item because we got a lot of i got quite a bit of clothes i got some hats she picked up several shirts i got a whole not a whole tote but a, about a dozen license plates and no sorry 40 over 40, 40 over 40, 40 li old license plates most of them are like t our tennessee or there's, a, there's an old Georgia one in there, so... But most are Tennessee. But it was a very good sale. Very good sale. I mean, but again, it was off. Away from those tent cities. But this is Interpur. Interpur. Interpure? Interpure. But it's P-U-R. There. But it's, it's not a complete set. I've got tablespoons, teaspoons... But I looked them up, and for the most part, I'm going to probably sell some of these in a set of four, like four teaspoons. Um, probably, I'm thinking about $9.95 per set. Some of these were only going to be three because I only had six of them. Um, so, but all in all, excellent find. And then... Oh. Robert picked this up. These are all the old license plates. I'll show you a few. Uh, it'll be like this. As you can see. Oops, that side. Oops, this way. 94. See, you are terrible with your right and left. Oh, yeah, when when anyway. you're driving down the road, but when you're trying to do it backwards in a camera, it gets really bad. And just here's some more. So... I don't know. I know the Nurse Flipper sells a whole lot of vintage license plates, so I'm just going to have to Google Lindsay's, or you know what I'm going to do. I'll have Robert try to figure out the price for each of these, like he helped me with the video games, which are not listed yet. All right, and then, I don't think this was there. Robert picked up a pile of clothes. These were marked $3, but he said he ended up only paying a dollar for them, but... These are 5'11 tactical pants. Very thick. Did you do comps on this? So about 30, 25 to 30 plus shipping. 25 to 30. And you can just tell they've hardly been worn. A lot of uh, cops, cops and fire department and paramedic guys wear them. And they're a lot. I don't know about those. I used to wear them, you know, a series of them. And they were 50 or $60 a pair. And these are like a an upgraded pair of the pants so new those are probably 60 or 70 dollars yep some of the plush look cole's cares i love cole's cares this is from madagascar uh, alex alex and then Look how cute. This is Mulan. Probably still just my bread and butter. I was hoping it was Bolt. I'll make Robert put a comp up for Bolt. If you ever see Bolt, that's the one that you need to look for. Dakin, look how cute. Again, bread and butter. I think a lot of these came from that yard sale. I didn't find a whole lot of plush. I don't know what was up with that, but we, I mean, we made, we bought a whole bunch of stuff. This was Dakin. It still has its little paper tag. Still probably $10 to $15. Always picking these up. 
the, this one says grin and grow. I know the elephant that is in this series does really, really well, but I'm not quite sure. But this, this is the treasure. I did pay $3 for it. It's kind of rough condition, but I know for a fact, I'm pretty sure in Courtney's latest, Bolo Buddy's latest video, um, Farm Girl Scavenger Noel sold this dog, and I want to say it was about $45. But we'll see when I do my comps. But this is Drooper, and it's by Dakin. And anytime you see him, he comes in lots of different colors, but the more colorful ones do better. I gotta hassle you more about your lack of video footage. <sighs> we went to one sale, it was in a, it said it was a barn sale, and it was not a barn barn but it was like a giant storage shed and you had to wind your way through the the paths to get anywhere and it was definitely a hoarder building and you bear and not all the paths were even clear i found plush and totes of toys i could tell but like robert had to help me up and over stuff to get there but it was one of those moments where i clicked the camera and turned it off it's one second long but it was crazy. In fact, there's boxes of plush here. Um, but I even saw plush up in the rafters. And he climbed up there and dragged it all down for me so I could dig to it. It was a lot of vintage. A lot. And it was like a bulk. He, I, he didn't even have stuff priced. I think he ended up like 10 or $15. And I got a huge bunch It was, of it was stuff. a very good deal. But it was... It would, it would have been fun to, it was fun going back. I love doing those. You get, you, you crawl back through the barn and you have no idea what's in there, whether it's going to be snakes or spiders or trash, which was, some of it was trash. A lot of it was trash. Or you'll uncover a grandma's box of Rushton or something back yeah. there. You, ne you never know what you're going to find in some of those things. And I don't mind either, but the weather was bad and we were trying to just get to different places as quickly as we could we could have stayed there all day and just kept digging and digging because it was just piles and piles of stuff and the prices were amazing but i messed up the footage all right a few more plush this of course is garfield very cute but it has the little suction cup thingies on his hands i'm still thinking probably Fifteen dollars or so for it. It's very cute. Most of you saw this in the the photo bombed picture. Um, I paid four dollars for it. I still have not figured out. It kind of reminded me of poke. Is it pokey from Gumby? The horse, but I don't think so. Gumby was kind of before my time. If my my reference to Gumby is Eddie Murphy on Saturday Night Live, so I don't remember the old Gumbies. Yeah, I don't think it was marked anywhere, so I'm gonna have to. I don't think it's Cabbage Patch. I just I don't know. Don't know. I'll have to do more research if anybody knows anything. But doesn't he kind of sort of look like the horse from Gumby? I picked this up. Remember, this was the puzzle place. Yeah, they had. It's not the. It's not where we got it paid. Paid a quarter for everything. No, this was. I want to say I paid like three dollars for it, but it's sealed. Southern California. At the time, I comped it, but I don't remember what it is now. And another plush. I always have to pick the, the vintage. It does need a bath. It's cuddle wit. My only concern is, well, no, I think that's, sometimes the lettering on these are like iron-on, but I don't think this one is. This one looks embroidered, so it should be okay to get a bath. Same place that I picked up the horse. I got the whole series. I'm just going to show you these two. But look how cute they are. It's the Wizard of Oz, but from the Smithsonian Institute. I don't think that I will... Um, Put the set together i think i'll sell them so that the person who needs one to finish their set will be able to buy it i want to say they were like 10 bucks each in the comps but i don't remember for sure i did pay five dollars for this it's boyd's bear but each one of these could come out i want to say 
This was like $25 or so when I checked the comps. But just look how cute it is. This would be adorable on a desk or shelf. I did pay a dollar. These are the Kellogg's mini beans. This is Rosita. I tend to pick these up anytime I find them, especially if they're still sealed in the bags. Um, if I have another one listed that's sealed in the bag, I may put them together. But depending, some of these, um, you know, still are going to be my bread and butter. But, you know, if she's like 6 to $10, I may just list her separate. Look how adorable. Loved her. I paid $5 for her there, but she is GOTS. G-O-T-Z. I couldn't find any comps for her, but look. Her clothes, her shoes. I'm hoping maybe 50 for her, but I'll have to do some more research. But I know Gotts is a really good brand to be looking for when you're looking for the dolls. We stopped at a church. The prices were ridiculous. Ridiculous. But I did find a few treasures. I just thought this was adorable. It's plastic. It's got thread and stuff in it. I think it was like a... um something for it like a sewing kit I just thought it was adorable and it was a dollar I'm hoping maybe 12 to 15 dollars for it and then inside the, the like community center there were tons of vintage dolls in their boxes but you could tell they had been stored in like a shed or something the boxes were in terrible but condition None of it was priced, so for a fleeting moment, I had hopes that it would be reasonable. I think she was quoting like $70 for some of the dolls. She did have like the My, My Friends Fisher Price dolls in their box, but I, again, I think she was quoting about $50, $60, $70 for them. I did, I did find these. I thought, she wanted $5 a bag. Or five dollars a doll. I think I asked in the the Facebook group, should I buy them? And I, it was fifty fifty. Some people were saying I should have bought all the Bratz dolls for five bucks each. I ended up only grabbing this because it had clothes and it had shoes. And I know you can sell like one pair of shoes for a decent amount. I may do like two pairs and I don't know, maybe nineteen ninety five or something like that. Robert grabbed these. These are Wee Juns by Bass. Bass. How much did you pay? That was, they were at the, everything was going to be a quarter sale, but we got they the were, lot deal. Right. They're 30 to $35. Yeah. He's just recently learned, I think from our Facebook group, about the, the Allen Ed Edmonds shoes. So now he's going to be on the lookout for them. Well, it wasn't, I learned about it at a thrift store like the same day or the day before somebody posted. Katrina, right? I think it was I, Katrina. I, yeah, I think so. Posted in, in the Facebook group. and But they were wanting $45 a pair. I mean, as soon as I saw them on the shelf, I'm like, those look really nice. And then I picked them up and I'm like, they feel really nice. And then I flipped them over and saw $45 and yeah. put them back. Well, I looked them up just to make sure, but yeah, I put them back down. But some of them, depending on the shoe you get, can be $200 used. I know, yep. I've known. I just don't see them around here very often. Was this from the quarter sale? It was. Yep. It says, gear for sports. Georgia Tech. And was this there? That was there too. These were there too, y'all. Acme from Acme. Back when. Yeah. I'm trying to see. They're in excellent condition. They need to be shaped a little bit, but yeah. Yeah, made in the USA, size 11D. How do you know they're Acme? I didn't the, see it. It's the symbol inside. Oh. Oh, yes, I see it on the, the little flap right there. Do you remember what comps were on them? I didn't even look. They were a quarter. They were a quarter. <laughs> so. We'll see. They're in really good shape. Worst case scenario, they're 11, you said 11D? 11D. I can wear an 11D and I'll throw these bad boys on and go. Uh, I'll go. <laughs> Worst case scenario, they're 11 D. I'll put them on and wear them myself. I can't see you in. I can't see him in cowboy boots, y'all. No. Oh. 
That's what you get. I know. <sighs> now, there was a time. Was it that old Toby Keith song? There was a time back in my prime. Well, there was when I was young and dumb, and I tried to be a rodeo clown, and I wore the cowboy boots. Not while I was a rodeo clown, because you need to wear tennis shoes for that kind of business. Otherwise, you'll take a horn in the face, which eventually happened anyway. You took a horn to the face. But I wore the, you know, the really tight Wranglers and all the fancy stuff. Yeah. I think... Were these from that sale or no? Those were elsewhere. Yeah, but I don't. I think I only paid like a dollar for them. Dance goes. They've got a nice pattern on them. I have really bad arthritis in my hands, but I make Robert do all the twist twisty tests on that. But we had a fail because he did check these. These are Dinkles. Dinkies. Dinkies. Or Dinkles. It looks like Dinkles to me. L. Yeah. I think dinkles but anyway they're band shoes I think we paid a dollar for them you can tell they've hardly been used but we've left them in our car in the heat and look which is probably good that we did because they probably wouldn't have lasted very long even after doing the twist test but I want to say those were like 40 or 50 dollars and it this might be one of those times see look that I might take them and get them repaired because these were worth quite a bit yeah i want to say 40 or 50. and they're just in excellent condition and i don't know i've heard of Ex shoe goo. excellent condition yeah falling apart i know no ex so this is what happens excellent condition otherwise otherwise but yeah and then i totally skipped these because i didn't realize they were dance co's and I think Robert pointed them out and I went back and grabbed them. But again, I'm pretty sure we paid a dollar or two for these shoes. Well, yeah, that was that was a nice sale. That was. Yeah, the ones next to it, there were two next to it. Like one in the yard and one in the driveway. I think there was one in the driveway. And they were terrible. Mm -hmm. like, like, really high priced. And then, this was at that church that I said everything was overpriced. But, look. A tote full of the vintage waffle blocks. Um, they're dirty. I'm going to have to run them through the, the dishwasher. That's the good thing about these. You can run them through the dishwasher. And then I just lay like a towel out on the floor. And then just keep moving them to get the water out of the, the crevices. But after two days, just like my plush, they'll be nice and clean and ready to go. I think in the last video haul... I showed you guys the Toby robot. This came from that same cell. This is Constructs Fisher Price. I want to say it was $5. Anytime I see Constructs, I have spent 30 minutes at the bins, digging in bins, just to get Constructs out of the bottom. But this is full of Constructs. And it's got the case. I'm hoping maybe $50, $60 for this. It's huge. Another thing from the, the quarter house, just a knit hat. It says Mormons they do on feed. there. They do Robert feed. said it's feed. Growing up in the Midwest or maybe elsewhere, that's, that's a feed company. But what do you call that thing? I call it a beanie. Around here, they call it a toboggan. Oh, Where yeah. I grew up in Missouri, we call it a stocking hat. But what's the name for it? How do you look this up? Yeah. What would you call it? I don't know. What's this? It's like Christmas morning. Oh, Robert bought this. Oh, remember the $3? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was a nice lady. Robert grabbed this. Now see here, it had a $3 sticker on it, but when we got up to the register, somebody had put that $3 sticker on there, and it was saying $10, but the lady was nice and went ahead. She said she just wants it gone anyway, so she only charged us the $3. I'd have paid the $10 anyway for this. These are the old, old, I'm trying to figure out here. It's like Lego's grandpa. Yes, the like original. It says Halsoms. It's got this book. 
But yeah, it's like... But they're odd. You can just tell. But the whole box is just full of the pieces and parts for them. I have no clue what the comps are going to be on this. I'm hoping maybe $25 or more. So, but I don't know if I have video coverage of it. Be that place, it was a tent, but I mean, they would have entire tables full of Fenton and entire just Pyrex and just all kinds of collectibles with very expensive prices on them. Hopefully we have the footage for that and I'll let Robert just I walked up and down the aisles just to show you all of the stuff. It was amazing. They took a whole lot of time to put these tent cities together. It just, I don't know enough to have known that if it was reasonable or not. That was a huge tent. Was just like, it was huge. like one couple running it. It was huge. It, was, it must have been like 50 by 50 or something. But it seems like at, at these flea market type places that plush are undervalued there. Unless it looks really old or something, but plush, it, it, I have no idea how they get it, but it seems like they buy like a bulk lot, they clear out a, a storage locker or something because they want the glass and they want this and oh yeah, we have these plush, let's put a dollar on them or something. So even in, at those places, a lot of times you can get decent prices on plush. Not always. They didn't have very much and what they did have was still, either I wasn't interested or the prices were still higher. They did have vintage Fisher Price but the prices were just beyond. Clark's, we paid a dollar for them. We do really well with Clark's, like 15 to $25 for used shoes. At the same thrift store the other day that I saw the Clark, uh, that I saw those, you said Allen Edmonds, is that the name of that shoe? Mm -hmm. There was a men's 15, size 15 Clark's and it was a huge shoe. And I'm like, this has got to be worth something. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. I thought, and they wanted $10 for it, but I thought, you know, being such a large size that it might have a, it might command a premium on eBay, but it didn't. Mm -mm. I don't know how much we paid for these. Pro we don't normally pay more than two or three dollars for stuff. On occasion, a little bit more. These are Etnies. I think they're like, you think they're skateboarder shoes? Yeah, I think they're vintage skateboarder shoes, like from the, because I think you looked them up and they're not made anymore, I don't think. I think that's yeah. what you told me, or maybe Daniel said that. I don't know, but it says U.S. Women's 10. I don't even know if it says, it doesn't say, so these must be women's shoes. Just in excellent condition. Hopefully I can figure out comps on them. But if not, I will auction. There's another pair of shoes. Joseph Seibel. Depends on where the eye is. S-E-I. To me, that's Seibel. To me, too. Just, again, another nice pair of shoes. Look how clean. I don't think they were worn. If they did, they were indoors only. Just says made in Germany. I'm hoping. I don't know. 25, 30 bucks. I want to say these were a dollar. But look how cute. Just, you can tell they they're dirty. But you can tell they have not been ran through the dishwasher because their colors are just really nice and bold. I think I Google lens them, but again, this has been like three weeks since we did all of this. I want to say maybe Libby's, but maybe not. Maybe, I don't remember. I'm not even going to guess. And then we stopped at a cell, the guy that was selling all the records. But he had this box of plush. He had, it was funny, he had three plush that he pulled out of that, that he wanted 10 bucks each. But I don't even think they were worth 10 bucks to resell. It was just, people put different values on stuff. But he went ahead and sold the rest of this to me for $10. So, I always grab these. I always hope, 50-50 chance that they work. It is musical. This little heart will light up if it's working properly. It is, I can't read it, something international. But usually I list these probably 25, 30, if it's working even more, maybe even up to like 40, 45 dollars. 
Look, this looks Dakin. Yep, this is Dakin, 1975. German Shepherd. I don't know. I'm hoping twenty twenty five dollars. Look, see, I had all these little ones in my hand. Now, see, it's got an issue here. Oh, I just pulled off part of it. It's like falling apart. The felt hands. But this is Douglas Cuddle Toys. You know, I did that video on there. But look how cute. But again, a lot of times you have issues with these felt pieces. Don't know. I am not maybe $15, $20 for it, even in this condition. This was probably Baby Bear. But there's only one here that I'm seeing. But he kind of looks like a baby bear to me. I'll still list him maybe $7.95 or $9.95 or something. And if somebody else has the other pieces, you know, it's in really nice condition. Doubt it's Rushton. But it's got a cute little rubber face. The animals are the ones that you really want to look for with the rubber face. But a part of me think maybe Gerber. I don't remember though. Another Dakin. This one's probably the same. 1970s. Probably a lioness. It has condition issues. I'll probably still list it for like $9.95. Look. Love this. This is Dakin also. 1968. Snoopy. My concern is that he needs a bath. But this is only felt eyes and eye, eyelashes. I will probably not clean this and list it as is and just say I'm leaving all cleaning to the buyer. But I'm hoping maybe 15 to 20 for it. Look, I just think this is adorable. I do not think it's handmade. I do think it was something, some brand. Kind of has Douglas vibes again. I'm thinking I'll list it $25, $30. This was in there. This is what I really wanted. This, I talk about one of my favorite brands is Animal Fair and Henry is the dog that's the most famous character from that series. And look, this is Henry, but he's a hand puppet. Animal Fair. I don't know if they have dates on theirs. I think a lot of times they're like 60s and 70s. Probably still only worth about $15 to $20 for it. This is another little vintage plush rabbit. It doesn't have a tag. I'm thinking maybe $10 for it, but we'll see. And then this is Russ. How cute. Messenger of love. A lot of times these are my bread and butters also. 8 to 12. Alright, we did stop at one yard sale. I think she charged me $3 for this. This is Dakin. His name is Foofer. F-O-O-F-U-R. He comes in a really large version. Definitely something to be on the lookout for. I have found it at the Goodwill Bins in Asheville once. In fact, I didn't find it. Another guy found it, and he wanted something in my cart, and we traded. So, this is the suction cup one. And I've had it before, but a long, long time ago. It says 1988. It, I think his name was like Phil Mendez or something like that. That was like the artist associated with this character. I want to say like $25, $30 for this. Maybe more. I can't remember. But the suction cups are in really good condition. But a lot of times they aren't. They're dry rotted. I don't mess with them. If I do think there's issues, I just state it in the listing. Little Scrabble Pocket Edition. I'm sure you pick this up. <laughs> who knows I'll blame it on Robert though but it's cute vintage probably $10 or so was this you 
at that house? No. Yes. No, it says a dollar. I picked that up somewhere and I picked up a second one at that house for a quarter. Oh. I have no idea if it's worth anything. It was. It, it was needs the, cleaned. It's like an old snapback. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure I've got a relative that would love to wear one of those somewhere. Yes. Very cute though. I like snap. I like selling snapbacks, but they are slow. Travis oh. had posted in your Facebook group about coming across yeah. um, the NCAA 2014 game. Yeah. And then underneath this table, I had a medium Walmart box that we needed to pack something. And it's the, usually I have them here, but we couldn't find any. And I didn't buy any the last time I was at Walmart. But nevertheless, so I thought, I'll just get that box out. I knew it's my kids and Robert's old video games that nobody plays with anymore. You can't see it, but there's, they're all right here. For the most part, they have lots of issues. My kids were not good with their video games, so there's lots of scratches. So I just kind of put it away, thought eventually I'll get to it or I'll take it to one of those places and have it buffed or we'll buy one of the buffers. I don't know. But as I'm pulling all these games out, I was, I said, wouldn't it be funny if that video game was in this box? And we got down to like the last three. And when I pulled it out, <laughs> look. Now my kids didn't like the sports, so this had to have been Robert's. But this has been sitting down here years. We've been here 10 years. So we years. We haven't had an Xbox 360 since the first year the Xbox Ones came out. I mean, yep. we've had them, but we just haven't played them. Nope. But Travis said he sold his, I want to say, for 82. 82. Just like within a few hours. So we're going to go a little higher. But they're coming out with a new version of this, I want to say, next year. So the market on these might, the bottom might fall out of this market. Could be. But yeah. Hilarious. I don't even know how to pick this one up. Part of that quarter sale was on one table. There was this Oster Oster uh, mixer set with all tons of accessories all spread out. And Robert was like, how much for the mixer? A quarter for all of it. Here, I'll just grab some of them. But that old vintage... It's in excellent condition, but no matter what, we're going to probably sell this for parts. And um, even if the base, this doesn't work, I'll probably still list it for parts or repair. People can pull the knobs off and stuff. Yeah. I looked, part of it was actually a, a citrus juicer, an electric citrus juicer. And there's like one piece, there's like one little, the thing that you would like push the lemon on or whatever. That sells for like $12 plus shipping. Look. The meat grinder, sausage maker, whatever it is. We found one of those the other day at a yard sale too that we're gonna keep ourselves. Yep. For uh, it was a gourmia. Gourmia, yeah. Yeah, gourmia, but it was twenty-five dollars. That the one they have out now that's a comparable model is what one fifty or something. And this thing had it never been used. Never. Now see, even like this. Oh, I think it's broken. That's sad sad but still this part maybe even <laughs> split them up i don't know just depends on what i'm seeing in the comps when i look it up i keep finding stuff look this is yosemite sam but he was a puppet but i've done very well just selling this part and they'll just remake it they'll just redo it but it's very old i can't read it Warner Bros. Something. Probably not a lot, but I'm sure I only paid like a quarter for it. And yeah, this was from there too. So these Circus Circus Cups. I haven't decided if I will sell them together or apart. It's funny, one cup is both sides and this cup is only one side. Definitely vintage. It says emerald even the bottoms are different probably sell them separate since they seem to be so distinctly different we, we had three good yard sales there the one where we got the video games the one where you got the 
the little people castle set with mm -hmm. all of that that's going to make a ton of money ton i think by the time i've parted it out how i was planning on doing it they're all listed now except for the bases i still have the castle to do i just got to find the right boxes and get them pre-packed i don't list stuff unless i know i have a box to fit it um but it was gonna be just the figures and stuff I paid 95 I want to say it was going to be 800 to 900 dollars just for that one box of stuff that I bought and I'm already selling quite a bit of it so well, in the video games we paid 115 and just the the games were 600, 600 plus the systems which we're going to keep yeah we're going to keep then, the systems I don't know how much we're going to get out of the sale that we paid 30 bucks at it's going to be a lot by the time you part the mixer out and the license plates and the, all the shirts and the hats and hopefully we'll find the footage for the, the the shirts i picked up like eight vintage hawaiian shirts so you know even at 15 20 bucks each if not more you know, the crazy probably just the shirts are going to pay for everything and the nicest people too they nice were super nice bunch of young men i think it was like a brothers or something maybe but yeah they had huge yard full of stuff all right let me get this closed out i've got lots of work to do and then but it's it's dinner time and i'm ready to be done for the day and i have school work to do to get yep. ready for tomorrow yep he's a teacher on mondays all right bye <laughs>